Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Taz back at you with the next episode breakdown, recovery, review, whatever you want to call it. Of you know, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? Two, Don Machi, whatever it is. You know, let's get right into it, man. Let's go ahead and drop that intro. Let's go. So starting into the show, we see Lily uh, saying her final goodbyes to Soma, her previous guide, at that she now no longer is a, a part of, and she's a part of the Hestia family. So you know, it's a little emotional for her. She has some tears, kind of uh, saddened, you know. But he also tells her to take care of herself, which I was surprised because you know anyone usually in there seeing Soma, he's just making the drink. He's you know not responding or saying anything to anybody, but he tells her to take care of herself, and I thought that was a, a really good thing, man. Like it shows you maybe even the gods can learn some things themselves. They're not all too powerful, and you know they can still learn and grow just like anybody else in this show but then we get back to the house and you know Hestia is you know giving a toast but in regards to you think it's Lily joining the familia finally or you know some of the other things that are going on but no it's in regards to Belle reaching level three the quickest person in the world or more so in um Arario to reach level three like Belle is officially legit legit and is then now don the commander of the hestia family which he's like you know that's a little too much for him but he's her first child he's her first uh person to be contracted into the family so it only makes sense that it be him so you know um with that they start going into discovering more of the house just a little bit not too in detail but just going into like certain things that makoto and wealth had probably requested or hestia requested for the individuals who are joining her family to make them feel more at home makoto asked for a more eastern style or japanese style um bath and wealth um he got a forge because he is a blacksmith which they both look nice and makoto's like losing her mind at how amazing this bath is i mean she she just can't get over it she's beside herself and wealth um he thusly states that this is what he'll be restarting you know he'll be basically reforging his name making a new name for himself in this in, his, in this field of being a blacksmith at what he loves and you know as they go about that you know you see a conversation going on with wealth no sorry you see a conversation going on with lily Hestia and Belle in regards to you know things about the mansion but like how are they going to keep it clean you know let's hire some maids let's hire some servants and you know Belle gets this idea like yeah we should hire some maids but ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, you know Lily and Hestia both who are biting for his attention and his um his affection are like mm, no they both agree that that that's a no-go there's not going to be anyone else who could potentially take any more time away from Belle that they both can't get from him so they're like nah lol that's not happening cut it at scratch it but you know Belle goes to the front of the house and basically sees Daphne and Cassandra at the gate like you know what's going on apparently Cassandra's looking for her pillow and she had a dream which Daphne still I don't know how Daphne can still not believe in this girl's dreams as her dream predicted exactly what was going to happen in the war games but no one wants to listen like you can't knock what she's saying now like it, it's been proven factual I mean I guess it's going to take maybe a few more instances for her to believe it but you know Bell being the guy he is he's like hold on you you left it here let me go look for it it's here and he, he found it and you know he believed her which made um cassandra kind of like a new potential love interest for Belle. so you know she she started blushing and things like that and she was like he believed in me he actually believed in me so you know we'll see where that goes in the near future maybe she'll be somebody who gets a little more on screen time with bell or some potential you know head butting in a more passive way with Lily or Hestia no telling but you know we'll get to that when we get to it and they said they'll see him tomorrow and he's like see us tomorrow and come to find out the Hestia family is now recruiting and looking for new members or more so the fact that they won the war games has spread so far and wide that so many people are lining up to join and I mean from all walks of life animal people dwarves your typical humans amazons and boy do the amazons look good i'm just gonna leave it alone <laughs> and um and it's and it's all going good you know it's all going good and then like lily sitting there just making notes of potential ladies that are no-go so some of the amazon women another more 
uh, lolly like individual who's way more soft spoken who you know Belle would be constantly trying to protect her and that's like the role she's trying to play though she's actually a lot stronger and she doesn't need much protecting but she thinks her personalities would like align with hers and that'd be bad and then there's also like this really buff lady this really buff animal woman and another amazon chick and she's just like nah that's a no-go and makoto's in the house and you know she's trying to find clothes and actually discovers um more or less the bill of debt that the hestia family owes in regards to the uh hestia knife that bell's been using 200 million 200 mil and she goes out and shows this to like hesty and hesty is like oh i forgot and they're like uh what the familia owes 200 million like in their world's currency and this basically scares off anyone who potentially wanted to join the the family and just like dang she completely forgot because um what had been set up in place was hesty has been working for hephaestus that's kind of crazy hesty hephaestus She's been working for Hephaestus in her uh, Ford shop store and been taking it out of her pay. Like, and I'm not sure how much she makes, but it's not a lot, but like, that's a lot of money to be owing and paying back. So it, it kind of is what it is. And that potentially scared off anyone who was going to be joining, but it's not a lost cause. It's, it's, it's just something that happens. We know some of, sometimes that that happens and eventually they will get some more people in the show who join the family. I'm sure of it. Um, I'm not sure who's going to be joining. We'll just find out later. But in a scene later in the show, in the bathing area, you see um, Belle and Welf just having a conversation in regards to stuff. And Welf's like, you know, Belle's kind of looking more manly. He's, you know, he's got an adventurer's, you know, physique now. He's starting to look all swole and defined. But then it transitions into Belle basically expressing his um, deep thoughts in regards to the women of the Hestia family. Like, you know, how he feels in regards regards to Lili, Makoto, and Hestia, like Hestia being more precious than anything to him, him valuing and cherishing all three of them in their own way, and then Hestia getting so emotional that she's trying to jump the other side into the men's bathroom, and they're all, you know, naked, and it's, it's being covered on the screen, but that's, that's typical Hestia for you. And later that night, as Hestia is giving her her speech saying, you know, don't let this deter you. I'll take care of this as the goddess. I'm going to I'm in charge of this. I'll make sure no matter how long it takes me, I'll pay this off. Now, whether she pays it off in their lifetimes is their mortals and she's a god. Only time will tell. But later at the door, Makoto opens up and it's a uh, Chigusa, uh, a member from her ex familia. And she delivers some startling news to Makoto that kind of leaves her shook. And she's like, no. And it transitions into like this really weird red moon. And then we see this Kitsune looking woman with her shirt strode open. And that's kind of where the episode leaves off. Now, my overall impression is I know this person is going to be somebody important, but what role do they play? I'm not sure yet. And then I wonder what news it was that uh, Chigusa had to deliver. So, I mean, we'll just find out that later in the next episode. But guys, if you like this episode, you know, tell me what you liked about it. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, you know, the normal stuff. If you are doing it, I appreciate it. If you're not, why don't you try, you know, giving it a shot. Let your boy know what you think about what I'm delivering as far as content. I appreciate it. Um, you know, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You know, I'll catch y'all later, man, for the next episode. Y'all be blessed. Peace.